A decades-long feud comes to a bizarre end. Tiger King stands accused of trying to have a woman killed. Not you know, there's not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire. Tiger Crisis Podcast. My name is Dan Frigolet. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I wanted to open up an active debate about Tiger Crisis. Uh, and you can respond to me on Twitter at Dan Frigolet. Um, or on Instagram at Dan, Fr- at Dan Frigolet. Wherever you'd like. Uh, I don't think that Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Mystery is uh, a, a true crime documentary. I really don't think it fits the 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 genre uh it's not something where we're actually looking at a particular crime and solving it which i think is what makes a good true crime documentary is presenting all the facts taking somewhat of a position because you are a documentary filmmaker and you are taking a skew right uh, but with this particular documentary it's more of like a reality show where people go to jail, which basically is every reality show, if you think about it. I mean, it's literally, it's the Jersey Shore in Oklahoma. It's mob wives with tigers. Like, it's the show is 80% tigers, uh, 10% murders that didn't happen, uh, 2% apparently if you have tigers, you can bang whoever you want, and 8% uh, a bunch of people talking about how much they hate Carol Baskin. That's pretty much what the documentary is. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with true crime. I really don't. I think it's a reality show, and I think it's mislabeled. Uh, It's wildly fun. There's no argument there. But if you think about other true crime documentaries, we're talking about things that uh, give us all the facts around a particular crime. Uh, This is multiple episodes about people owning tigers, and then there's a little bit of like, hey, did this guy hire somebody to kill somebody, or did all of the people that wanted Joe Exotic to no longer own the zoo say one thing and then get him put in jail? That's basically what it feels like at the end of the, the thing. Also, if you're a responsible documentary filmmaker, you would go out of your way to present all these facts um, and sort of plead the case. There's no case being pled throughout the entire thing other than the fact that Joe is really cool um, and Carol is, uh, you know, the, the, the proprietor of lobbying for big cat ownership. I don't think that uh, Tiger King is taking a position at all about uh, what's happened here. And I don't think that they're picking a crime in particular. If Look, the argument is if, if it was about animal abuse, which is basically kind of what I'm getting on the Internet from people. But if that was the case, then they could have easily made that case. They had cameras on premise for like four years Let's jump ahead to what are actually true crime documentaries. Like, let's just look at ex- other examples. There's the staircase, which was the Peterson thing about this guy who, uh, over years and years, kept having his wives die by them falling down the stairs and blasting their head open. And it was a multi-part true documentary, uh, true crime documentary series where at the end we end up actually having this guy confess on camera accidentally. Uh, once they sort of like find this little piece of information that kind of clears the original, uh, whatever, like, like uh, uh, deconstructs the alibi rather. Another one is there was a book, uh, you guys know, Patton Oswald's wife. Um, I can't remember her name. I think it was uh, Melissa McNamara. Is that right? Um, she, she wrote a book. Michelle McNamara wrote a book uh, trying to resolve a bunch of murders that happened uh, about the Golden State Killer who was committing a string of unsolved rapes and murders in California in the 70s and 80s. Uh, she ends up uh, dying untimely and then... Uh, this other woman picks up the book and and finishes it uh, and ends up solving the crime uh, by going through a process of 23andMe and some other things. Uh, Another true crime documentary is uh, Don't Fuck With Cats. That's another one where we're looking at a crime that actually happened. We're looking at a thing that that, uh, that needs to be solved. Tiger King is none of that. Tiger King is is just a reality show with a bunch of uh, like emotionally unstable people who end up sort of competing against one another. Uh, somebody else on the internet said, uh, "What about the O.J. Simpson documentary?" Um, we didn't solve the case there, but arguably we, we kind of did. I think everybody who watched the O.J. Simpson documentary left with the opinion that. Uh, 
he either did or didn't do it. And clearly the documentary makers of that think that he did do it. And it was like, I don't know, five episodes of trying to prove the fact that he did do it. Uh, and five episodes of, of like presenting facts. And I don't even think, yeah, I don't think in the O.J. Simpson documentary did we once talk to O.J. Simpson. So that sort of is the marker of a true crime documentary uh, in a lot of ways. You don't talk to the, the person who's accused. You talk to everybody else around the situation to sort of prove one one element of the of of the the facts same thing with the aaron hernandez documentary uh we're going around trying to figure out if the odin loin murder happened and then they're adding all these other pieces of information where say uh he shot these people in uh Cal florida years before and there's another murder that sort of happened that maybe he was involved in that he sort of like walked away from when he was a gator uh so all of these other things, don't fuck with cats, O.J. Simpson, Made in America, the Aaron Hernandez true crime documentary, The Staircase. These are all true crime documentaries, and Netflix is listing Tiger King as a true crime documentary, and it, and it, it, just, it just isn't. Uh, I, there's no, I mean, there's nothing more to say about that. There, it's just not that. If it were, I think we would all feel better about any of this you know what I mean there's a guy that went to prison and we're not really sure why there's a murder that probably happened but we can't prove it because there's no body and there's no weapon and there's no one other than like random people that are in competition with this lady saying that it even happened um, so the reality is if this were a true crime situation, then it, it would have done a much more organized exploration of evidence, facts and court cases. And none of none of this really happens. So I just think it's silly for it to be called a true crime documentary. I think it's just a reality show. I think it's a documentary about owning tigers. Like I said before, I think it's 80 percent. I think. And I wrote that I sent this in a tweet. I think it's I think I think I nailed it. And I'm just going to I'm just going to read it to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm on point with what I said. But basically, I think Tiger King is 80 percent about owning tigers, 10 percent about murders that never happen, 3 percent about how you can bang anyone gay or straight if you own a tiger and 7 percent about how everyone thinks Carol Baskin is a bitch. I think that's what it is. It's not a true crime doc. It's not uh, solving a, a, a murder. It's not solving an animal abuse case. It's not solving a murder for hire. By the way, I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate things like a murder for hire charge because all it is is somebody goes, "Hey, you don't like this lady? I could kill her for you." And you go, "Yeah, I guess that'd be fine." It's like this bait car show that was happening in the in the early 2000s they would basically like take a car bring it to an area where people didn't have a lot of resources they'd bring it to a poor neighborhood they'd take this car they'd have a person make a scene they'd throw the keys and then they'd just leave the car either running or with the keys available and then somebody would get in the car and they would joyride and they would arrest that person on the spot and they'd be like and they would arrest them for grand theft auto which i thought was was shenanigans it's 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 like they never, like, follow the guy to where he's taking the car. Like, he might be going to visit his grandmother. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he might be going to buy groceries. Like, this might be his only opportunity. The, like, they were clearly setting pe poor people up to commit crimes. And not to say that Joe is a poor person, but Joe is not uh, the most brilliant person on the planet. And he's a shit talker. And it's like, yeah, you got somebody who goes, hey, listen, I'll murder her. And you're in this, the, the heat of the moment and you're in the passion. And you go, yeah, you know what? You should murder her and I'll get you some money. And it sort of seems like money never was exchanged. So if you agree to a $5,000 murder ploy and you give a guy however much money that's not $5,000 in a, in in a small sense there is a level of innocence left there um, because it's not like the guy couldn't come up with $5,000 he was he was charging 10 15 20 30,000 dollars to go to malls with tigers uh, but that's my perspective and i think i think i'm on solid ground here please uh, let's 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 debate the the, the task uh, get at me on instagram at dan frigolette get at me at twitter at dan frigolette um, wherever you found the podcast, message me there. 
Uh, all the links are there to be able to reach me, whether you want to email me. Let's talk about it. Is this a true crime documentary? Is that a fair caricatures, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, representation? Is that, a, is that a fair genre uh, for this particular piece of film? I'll call it film. This, this picture, is that a fair position for this thing to be in to call it true crime? Or is it just the Jersey Shore with tigers, you know? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Uh, let's talk about it. And uh, check out episode one of Tiger Crisis, the Tiger King documentary podcast. Uh, it, it, we're in quarantine here and we're trying to be safe. And so we're talking about the things that we're seeing on the Internet and on Netflix. And this is uh, this is the podcast. Check it out. We're on all the places the podcasts are. Uh, we produce the app uh we produce the podcast through anchor app so check on anchor.fm where you can do podcasts for free thank you guys for listening and watching uh and let us know what you think about this true crime not true crime documentary